TikTokers, quick, there's no time. Put in the thickest coat you have, a good pair of boots and a warm scarf because we're going to the Arctic Circle to see one of the most beautiful natural phenomenons in the world, the Northern Lights or Aurora Borealis. Actually, it would be more accurate to refer to it as the polar aurora, given that depending on the hemisphere where it is produced, it can be either Borealis or Australis. Its name comes from Aurora, the goddess of dawn, who in Roman mythology flies through the sky to announce the arrival of the sun. The Aurora Borealis is a phenomenon in which many different lights and glows appear in the night sky. They are usually green, but can also contain reddish and bluish tones. And besides its impressive colors, the Aurora also emits sounds at a particular distance from the ground. Wow, it seems magical, right? But in reality, these are caused by our favorite star, the Sun. The Sun is continually emitting particles in a stream of energy known as solar wind. When the stream reaches the Earth, it crashes with the atmosphere, trapping the particles. Once there, the electromagnetic fields of our planet shift the particles to the areas close to the poles. When many of these particles accumulate, they crash with the wind and emit energy in the form of lights. Believe it or not, the polar auroras form in the thermosphere at a height of about 100 kilometers, and they can be seen from space. Unfortunately, observing them from Earth is more complicated and different factors need to be taken into account. The first one is that the auroras are produced in areas close to the polar circles. Canada, Iceland, Norway, Sweden or Finland in the Northern Hemisphere, or New Zealand, Australia and Antarctica in the South. The second one is that they can only be enjoyed at particular times of the year, from September to March in the North and from March to September in the South. This is because they can only be seen at night and because in winter the nights are longer in those parts of the world, it's easier to observe the auroras then. We also have to get away from the big cities in order to avoid light pollution, and finally, we gotta look north. Now we know where and when to see them, but even then the polar auroras are a bit strange. Even taking all this information into account, it's very difficult to know if we will be able to see them at a particular date or not, as they don't always appear. Besides, they can last the entire night or only a few minutes. They are completely unpredictable. Surely, all of this sounds very mystical to you. And it's the same thing our ancestors might have thought, as they invented different myths and legends regarding the Aurora Borealis. For instance, the Eskimos believed that the lights were spirits that played in the sky, and that's why they didn't let their children go out at night, so that the spirits wouldn't take them away. In contrast, the Vikings believed the lights were the Valkyries, warrior goddesses and daughters of Odin from Norse mythology. They would wear armors made of pure gold which shined when they sailed through the skies on their winged horses, searching for those fallen in battle. And one last curious fact. Although people from those places were totally enthralled by the lights, nowadays it's difficult to surprise people who live there. The Aurora Borealis is such a common phenomenon, it not longer surprises them very much. It is just like a storm day for us. Tick and Tag have already taken good notes and wish to see the Aurora Borealis in person. And what about you? Do you want to see this fascinating lights? Share with us in the comments the places where you'd like to travel to see them. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it, and if you want to see more Draw My Life videos, subscribe to our channel. See you in the next episode!